All right, guys, Zypho here with an exclusive video with the uh, National Video Game Arcade opening stores to the public for the first time in Nottingham in the UK. And uh, I'm going to take you through all the uh, floors there. Now, I'm using my newly purchased GoPro camera. I've never used it before, so I apologise for any shakiness or hands getting in the way. Um, and also, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to be filming or not, so I'm kind of hiding it sort of inside my jacket, around about my waist. There you go, okay, this is the first floor. You might have noticed there are a track and field and Pac-Man cab. And there's lots of interactive gaming uh, here. Lots of different installations. Um, and lots of things to try out over three floors. Now, um, they've been granted uh, quite a huge multi-million contract by the government to open this up, um, possibly to time with the uh, video game course at the Nottingham Trent University as well. Um, this is run by Game City. You can find the, way, the website at gamecity.org, link in the description below. And there's lots of interesting things to try out there. There was, uh, I'm not quite sure what that room was about. Um, in the room with some consoles to try out and the odd cabinet with some rare things in there some of them unfortunately I don't think you can make out very well um, with a GoPro you can't see what you're recording until you've done it <laughs> and uh, probably need to zoom in there this is a very very cool thing it's like um, elliptical kind of display, it was circular and elliptical, they've got Minecraft on the go there and that looked really cool but the camera isn't really picking it up very well anyway, we'll move on that was pretty much the first floor there out of three, there is a fourth floor which they haven't opened yet um, and I think they've got a lot more to add uh, into the uh, installations and rooms and floors. Um, it's a little bit bare at the moment, but uh, if it's only just opened. This is quite cool, a corridor um, with lots of monitors of lots of famous jumping arcade characters. The theme for the museum at the moment, I think it's best calling it a museum, is platforming and jumping games. The theme is jump. So we've got Jet Set Willy here set up on the ZX Spectrum and most of the um, installations uh, and things to try out involve jumping in some way, shape or form and there will be varying the themes over the year so maybe in a few weeks time it will be a different theme for example here, here's all about, here's another modern game about jumping a lot of which I think students have programmed um, for this I think we'll um, see a uh, Canabouts installation where you actually jump up yourself to control the character. And they've, in, they've implemented floor sensors. And there's like cool stuff like that. Yeah, plenty to try out. Now, um, oh yeah, there's the Canabouts installation coming up there. Oh, there. There's a lounge there with a couch you can sit on. Uh, I think there's a Mega Drive set up there. And there's the Canabout thing. What I didn't realise at the time was you hit that green button to start and then you actually jump up and down on the uh, mat where my feet is to so you control your character. Yes. But I, I, I didn't realise at the time. I didn't read the instructions. Um, it was, um, it's open during the day, uh, I think Tuesday to Sunday, uh, 10 or 11 in the morning till about 6pm. It's about £8.50 to get in, which is quite expensive for an adult, and I think uh, 6.50 per child. Uh, you can, you can uh, join as a member, and members get in then for £6.80. Ah, Donkey Kong. So it is actually quite expensive. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping for a lot more arcade machines. Obviously, um, here's Donkey Kong. The joystick was a little bit broken though. The down arrow wasn't working. We tried it earlier actually, before I had a little walk around the video camera. And the down arrow was, uh, wasn't working. But yeah, you can play Donkey Kong. 
Uh, we saw track and field earlier and Pac-Man. Um, I, think, I think there was one other arcade machine. Oh yeah, a uh, point, point blank arcade machine. The light gun game. If we look here, there's a comparison of different donkey dogs. Look, an Amstrad CPC. Hey! And yeah, this is just a history of Donkey Kong from comparison. Quite a nice little setup there. You can see the arcade version running alongside the uh, Amstrad version. What a great conversion the Amstrad one was. And you can hit a button, it's a bit like a fruit machine there. Brings up different screenshots and video from the various different Donkey Kongs. So you can see the history. I think one thing I'd like to see more there is a lot more information put around the place. There's uh, a lot of history to be learned um, and there was very little provided. So that's a constructive criticism. Um, you know, as a, it is more of a museum than an arcade. They call it, a, they do call it an arcade, but oh look, there's a ping pong game where you can shoot um, space invaders with a ping pong. There are some gesture control games there. Um, tank Battalion. You've got two joysticks there. We'll have a look at that briefly in a minute. Um, games you control with by plugging in your wires into various fruit to control the game. And we're walking into now is a cinema they've got going. Obviously the GoPro isn't picking this up at all. You can just about see the screen. Um, but obviously they're going to be using this for other things in the future. Okay, this was quite an interesting room. Obviously we've got a Space Invaders cabinet there. Unfortunately, it was broken. Oh, and there's a Magnavox Odyssey, and the very probably the very very first um, home console with uh, with interchangeable cartridges you could have bought from Ralph Bayer who sadly died recently. But yeah, unfortunately a sadly broken Space Invaders cab. Um, and we've just got some like basically museum pieces here. Um, you may be able to see some of them from the camera. Uh, I wish I'd zoomed in a bit more. There's an Astro Wars game there. And a BBC Micro. Uh, a ZX Spectrum. That you can never play with. And uh, write some basic code if you want to. Just behind it there in the glass case is a ZX Spectrum donated by Matthew Smith. Him of Manic Miner, etc. Okay, some other random, sort of very random museum pieces. There's a Python quick shot, quick shot joystick there, uh, a Defender board game, um, some pirate cassettes. There's a Master System in there, a NES, and there's a Game Boy. Um, Commodore, oh, actually, in the left, there's a Commodore 64 shoot 'em up crea uh, creator kit. Forget the name of it. So SNES there with a Super Scope. We've got a SNES playable there with Star Fox. And more stuff in here in the cabinet. Oh look, there's a Virtual Boy. Uh, I'd, I was hoping to try that, but unfortunately it's in the glass case. Um, quite random what they've got there. Um, and a, a little bit sparse if I'm honest. Halo home helmet there. And a Nintendo GameCube and some other random curiosities. They really needed to give us some more information about it, though. They're, 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 they've got very basic labels there. It would be nice to have a little bit more history about it. There's an Oculus Rift helmet there. I'd like to have tried, unfortunately not. And uh, a Spectrum Vega prototype in the bottom right corner. You can see it there or not. Hmm. Uh, they need to be giving a little bit more information there. And I think, guys, that's pretty much it at the moment for the arcade. I think they've. Uh, we're gonna. I'll show you a couple more of the arcade games uh, I may have missed. Um, but very good. It's very very cool. They've done this in Nottingham. It's well worth checking out. Um, you can get a family ticket, two adults, two children, for about twenty quid from the website. Uh, a little bit expensive. I hope they start filling up with more stuff and people donate them things. Uh, I think it'll become a lot more worthwhile and a very interesting project. Yeah, point blank cab there. So, there we go. First first day exclusive look at the National Video Game Arcade in Nottingham. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.